Tom, we're here at this conference, the mm -hmm. quest for consonants, yeah. theology of the natural sciences, and you and I probably are here from different different worldviews, which is yeah, good. It's good. Um, it and and I have I have um, uh, always been fascinated by natural theology. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something that I, I get excited about. Mm -hmm. And I know it's gone through histories. It was once very strong, and then it really went into uh, into oblivion almost uh, after Darwin. Uh, but in, in in recent decades, it's come back, particularly yeah. through uh, of physics and theoretical physics in terms of the laws of the deep laws of nature and the fine-tuning uh, issues and, and all of that so how do you how do you view a, a, a natural theology as a way not not of obviously proving God but but as uh, g getting a very deep sense of, of if there is a God what that God or how that God is a creator yeah. Uh, what's the importance of natural so theology? So I, I have to say, I, it's the, the importance of natural theology is to do something completely different to it, is, is my view. So I was actually responding uh, to a, a lecture. They asked me to give a short response to a lecture on renewing natural theology by Paul Allen. It was a wonderful lecture um, on the basis of desire, was his idea. But So if I might summarize, so natural theology is more or less, just as you put it, is what can we learn about God by looking into nature? Mm -hmm. If you like it, the, if you want a picture, we're looking, nature's a pool. We look into the pool. And in the deep steps of the pool, we can see God reflected somehow mystically. That's that's natural theory. Yeah. That's or, paleon. The, or if you look at, here at Beethoven Symphony, you get a feeling right. of the personality of Beethoven. Right. Or look at a Van Gogh painting, right. you get an idea of his mentality. I mean, you, yeah. I mean that's a legitimate metaphor. It's a legitimate metaphor, but I I don't think that's the right geometry. I don't think that's the geometry in which science and theology interact. That's part that's part and parcel of this conflict metaphor that you love, but I don't feel is. is is, a, is helpful at all. Um, so what Loving the, it and being helpful are not necessarily Well, synonymous. okay, I love things that are helpful, but maybe, okay, but true, but you can, sparks are good, good too. I admit. Um, so no, what the theology of science that I've tried to develop from this wisdom approach, from Job and the other wisdom approaches into the New Testament and so on, that, that, and into the practice, deep practice of science, I've tried to develop, teaches me, that rather than this picture of looking through nature into God, the right geometry is to walk all the way around the circle and look into nature with God, with his same eyes of love and care and, 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 and creativity. That's the geometry. And Acelia Dean Drummond, who's a, a colleague of mine right here in Notre, Notre Dame, pointed out to me while I was talking about this, she said, she's made me see clear, the reason, Tom, you're uncomfortable with natural theology is because you are 180 degrees opposed to it. <laughs> you don't look into nature to see God, you look with God into nature. Now, so, so, so uh, th that sounds interesting, but is that a, a, a uh, does that um, obviate natural theology, or just says now I have a new idea? Yeah, I think it recasts it. It recasts, it. and it comes from it comes directly from an absolutely key many places. But there's a key and most beautiful passage. It's called the Hymn to Wisdom, also in Job, Job 28, where the 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 wisdom uh, search wisdom is answered by by God looking into creation, measuring the waters, and weighing the air. It's extraordinary. And in the same breath, the miners, the humans who tunnel under the ground, also see the substructure of nature. There's not even the, the great wild beasts and the hawks with their sharp eyes cannot see the, 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 the transformation of the rocks by fire underneath the world. It's a lovely icon of how science is. What science does, science looks beneath, it's a special type of seeing, it looks beneath the superficies of the world into its deep structure. And that's what God does too. And we've got these two, these two passages next to each other in the same poem. And the conclusion could not be starker, that looking into nature with God is the way to join with him in our road to wisdom. And wisdom is what we so desperately need when it comes to science. Look, that's a, if you start with a worldview that has God centered in it and absolutely sure of that, and, and to look at the world from that perspective, that's fine. You could look at any, any aspect of the world, if you believe in God, and, and, and see it in, 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 in that light. I think that's legitimate. Um, I, I, I don't see the logic in, uh, in that uh, subsuming or eliminating a natural theology, which ex which is the other direction, which is the 180 degrees going the other way, uh, it, 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 either it works or it doesn't work. Uh, right. are, are you claiming that it doesn't work? That that natural theology should remain buried? 
that it, where it was uh, until maybe a few decades well, ago? Well, providing it's honest natural theology. You see, you see when, when, natural the, when theology tells us to look at all creation and see God, you've got to, see, you've got to take all creation, all, not just the lovely galaxies we show pictures of and the, and the star clusters and the lovely pink sunsets, but the cancer, the deaths from the earthquakes, the, all, the, all the nature red in tooth and claw, you've got to see all that. Now, a natural theology that can get to grips with that and, and see in it nature exploring this fundamental value of freedom and to stand with Job and God, saying, when Job's railing at God for creating a, a chaotic universe of pain, and God says, come with me, come with me, and let's see about creating a world. And he says, yeah, I can deliver you. I can deliver you a lovely, ordered, peaceful world, as ordered as a stone, as regular as a crystal, and every bit as dead. <laughs> That's the natural theology that, for me, uh, answers yeah, it Sounds questions. like you're a very good natural theologist. Well, but as I say, <laughs> um, I, it, I'm, I'm really, it, it, you may seem so, but I'm really uh, 180 degrees around the back. I'm looking into the reason we often don't see God in nature is because that's not what we're is, is because we're looking at nature with Him, with His love.